What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. Who? If you'd like to donate, type Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so this is the daily team for 8-1 in 2022. Um, yeah. And if anybody um, has a tiny home for sale, like already done, already renovated, already prefabricated a tiny home for sale, um, if you could contact me and let me know how much, it, how much it is, the specs on it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'd appreciate it. And if, um, you know of a tiny home community, like a community, like a, somebody that has rent, um, bought a plot of land and basically built all these tiny homes on them and they're renting them out monthly in a community, um, in the Tennessee or, um, southern kentucky or northern georgia area please let me know because i'd be interested in possibly renting one uh monthly like a year lease maybe or a six month lease or something like that um i have an excellent credit score and an excellent rental history so i you know i don't that's not gonna be a problem because i have an excellent rental history and excellent credit score so anyways just saying just saying okay I want to be closer to my kids because there's no reason for me to stay here anymore. There's no reason for me to stay in this. The whole reason I was here was to raise my kids in a healthy, good school, good place area. But this place actually turned out to be a damn nightmare for me. A freaking nightmare. And that's just the damn truth. Um, I was hoping it'd be opposite, but it wasn't. Um, and everything happens for a reason. But now my kids are gone. There's no, this huge ass house, there's no reason for me to stay in this huge ass house. There's just none, period, point blank, none. And that's just the truth. So I'm going to renovate it out, rent it out and move the hell on. But, um, I want to find a tiny home, um, that I can move to before I do this. So just saying, okay. So, um, I hope everybody's doing well. The channel message I received was, um, a significant murder trial is um, about to occur soon. Um, very, very, very significant murder trial in a particular city. That's what I heard. A significant murder trial is about to occur soon in a particular city. Um, so you plug it in. A murder trial. My God. A mur I heard murder. Like, murder. What is Murder. Um, I wonder, and I didn't hear this, but I wonder if it's um, relating to that COVID, this band of COVID that broke up. I didn't hear that it was, but it makes me wonder if it is. And I'm just being for real um, about the dis. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, I'll see if I hear anything else, but whatever it is, it's um, a murder trial. Some like homicide, like somebody killed somebody. Um, and I hate to say that, but that, I mean, that is the reality of our world. People are cruel like that. They are freaking cruel, man. Number 14 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 14, message of concern. This murder trial is about to become way, 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 way more public than people thought it was going to. But it's about to. Oh, my God. This murder trial is about to become way, way, way more public than people um thought it was going to. But it's going to. I guess they didn't get the media involved. Why they didn't get the... I don't even want to go there with the media. And I'm just being for real. The media should cover everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But it is also a money train, just like big wig corporations. So they pick and choose 
what they cover, even though technically the media is supposed to cover everything. But it doesn't. We all know that's the way the world works. It doesn't. And that's if they're told not to do it by the big wigs, they won't do it. Because um, they're being paid by these people. And it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's like blackmail. Bribery. Whatever. So, um, anyways, uh, I heard them... I feel this should be covered. This should be covered. But I don't work in big wig corporate media conglomerates that pull the strings and uh, make all these huge ass decisions. And that's just the truth. Um, I heard uh, a murder trial is about to become way more public than people thought it was going to. So meaning they were trying to cover it up. They didn't put it on the media, on the news, for a specific reason or reasons. Um, the energy is about to shift in a huge-ass way. A huge-ass way. Many shocking series of shame events are about to occur soon. Okay, I heard the energy is about to shift in a huge-ass way, huge-ass way. Many shocking series of shame events are about to occur soon. So, message of concern. I think that people are about to send out messages that the murder trial is more people know about it than they thought was going to know about it. So if more people know about it, way more people know about it than they originally thought, they might consider putting it, uh, I'm thinking that I didn't hear this. I'm just thinking they might consider putting it, broadcasting it on the um, news is what I'm thinking here. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Think somebody's going to send a message of concern that basically it's out to way more people than they wanted this murder trial to be out to. So why not publish it and publicize it publicly on the news now? Because hell, so many more people know than they wanted to know, basically, is what I'm feeling. Is the energy here, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's what happens when you try to cover shit up and the cover up blows up. And that's just the truth. Bad health, great fortune. Number 31 or 26 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 31 or 26. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 31 or 26. Bad health, great fortune. These people stole a lot of money in the past. A lot of money. And a lot of these people are in very bad health. And they will continue to go, uh, their health will continue to decline. Mental health and physical health. Okay, I heard these people stole a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. And basically, so extortion and embezzlement, basically. Extortion and embezzlement, basically. They stole a lot of money. And basically, um, I heard they're in bad health, but it sounds like it's their negative karma because they stole money in the past, i.e. extortion and embezzlement. So since they stole money in the past, i.e. extortion and embezzlement, their negative karma has been, it sounds like physical and mental health decline. And I heard it's going to continue. The physical and mental health decline is going to continue um, because they stole this money. And whoever, you, uh, whoever this is for, I think they stole your money. Your own ass community, your own Phoebe ass community stole your money. So, um, which trust me, I know my Phoebe, my, my, I have a crazy ass community and that's just the truth. They have treated me shitty, shitty, shitty in the past five years. And I haven't done anything negative to these people. And that's just the damn truth. Except go out and work in the 3D and put positive out there. So I get repaid for being treated like shit and gang stalked and targeted and harassed and bullied. Is that how we're supposed to treat people? No. 
But is this the way this community back, backwoods, back thinking, outdated belief system community treats folks? Yeah, that's why I'm moving the hell out of it. And that's just the truth. So um, it's your own community that did it. That stole your great fortune. Sorry, ma'am. But they are in bad health. I uh, heard physical and mental health, and it's going to continue to decline because they sold your money, i.e. the extortion and embezzlement. Well, at least you're out of it, though. Uh, whoever you are, I don't, I don't think you have any, any energetic attachments to these people, and I think you are, um, or you're about to cut your energetic attachments with these people. For some, I feel you're about to move away, and I know a lot of you guys are about to move away. I know you are because you've communicated with me and told me. You're about to move away from your toxic community that you've been stuck for years and years and years and you are finally saving up and you're getting the hell out. And thank goodness, I'm so glad so many of you guys are about to take the leap because I'm about to take the leap too. Um, I, there's no way I can know my kids are full-time living in another state and there's no way I'm going to sit here in a community that has bullied and harassed that the hell out of me why would i want to stay down here having to put up with that kind of abuse and craziness for years and the only reason i did it was to protect my kids to try to protect my life i couldn't figure out what the hell these people were doing then but now that my kids are gone because my kids want to live with their dad i'm i'm moving the hell on because i hate these people i mean not literally hate them but i seriously dislike them because I would have never treated them that way, ever. But yet, they made the free willing choice to treat me that way. And I'm sure it was because of fucking money. Obviously. Well, I'm not a sellout. And I've never taken money. And more I would I ever take money to bully, harass, gang stalk, or tar target somebody. That's probably why I got bullied, harassed, targeted, and gang stalked. Because they know I'm not a sellout. Well, you can have somebody else in here shortly. Crazy ass city. People that live in this crazy ass city or want to live in this crazy ass city because I'm moving the hell out. And that's just the truth. Y'all can have this shit. And somebody's gossip is about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. Seriously. Somebody's gossip is about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. And more evidence of deaths, cold case deaths, are about to come into the police regarding this case. This person. COVID related. Oh my God, I heard COVID related. I was wondering, y'all know I was wondering, you know I was wondering, you know I was wondering. Oh, more evidence is about to come into the police. COVID related. So I think it's related to that disbanded black magic COVID. That's exactly what I think. More evidence is about to come into the police. COVID related. Of cold cases, murders uh, of the past somebody is about to be on trial or is on trial for murder trial i think related to a coven i think it's that freaking disbanded coven i've been picking up in my readings and picking up in my readings and picking up in my readings and that's just the truth holy crap man I didn't hear anything else, but I heard more medical and mental health. Uh, these people already have medical and mental health issues. It's about to decline more. And honestly, I just want to say, I don't want to sound like a bitter bitch or a bitter Betty talking about my crazy ass community, but that really is what happened. And the crazy part is, is I was really just fighting to live a happy life, just me and my kids. I was just fighting to live a happy life here, not be bothered. Hashtag stay in your lane. But yet these people... Thought it'd be fun to bully me 
to harass me, to target me, to gang stalk me. Oh yeah, let's target her. <laughs> let's um, blah 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 blah. I don't mess with no damn body. So why have these people felt the need to do it to me? I just don't understand. So I'm not a bitter Betty. If anybody's wondering that, I'm not saying you're calling me a bitter Betty, but I'm not. It's just that I never did these things to these people. So why they felt the need to do it to me, I don't know. I feel they need to evaluate, reflect, and do their own shadow and healing work, healing work on their inside and figure out why they decide to be bitter Bettys to other people and bitter Bens to other people. Because they have some inside work they need to do on themselves. If you decide to make that free willing choice to do that to somebody else. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. If some of these crazy ass people watch. And I'm serious, you know. So I'm not bitter about it. I'm not. I'm actually very excited about moving. I'm very excited. I just need to find a wonderful little tiny home. If I can do that. I could purchase my tiny home and set it up on a plot of land, or if it's already set up on a plot of land, just, you know, enter into the rental agreement, start moving my stuff up there, and then, um, and then I can get this house cleared out and find a renter, and then boom, I'll be done. Um, so I'm not upset. I'm actually, everything happens for a reason, and I honestly think my kids will have a better life up there. I really think they're going to have a better life. It has to be better than what it was down here. Because down here, and I, I know, I know, because I had to live and endure through this shit too. I know they were miserable. I was miserable. But the thing is, is I'm not going to take my kids out into a community I know that was harassing and bullying and gang stalking the hell out of us. There's no damn way. I have protection for my kids. And that's just the truth. And myself. Respect for myself. So... I know it wasn't the best thing for us. So I honestly think wholeheartedly my kids will have, most certainly will have a better life up there. Absolutely. 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 And I want what's best for my kids. But what's best for me and my kids is to me to get the hell out of this toxic community because there's nothing left here for me anymore and to go be near them. And, and hopefully up there, the community will be more supportive and they won't fucking try to wrongfully terminate me after three freaking months of employment. You know, what kills me about employment is there's always, there's a shortage of nurses as it is. There's a shortage of nurses as it is. And then these people have the audacity to fire a nurse, a good nurse at that, that comes in on time, that if they're late, they call, and if they're late, it's very rare, um, does their work and completes their work, is not never a no-call, no-show, communicates properly and effectively about issue or issues, but yet they get terminated, wrongfully terminated. What? When there's already a shortage of nurses. Period. In the country, in the world. So why are you going to do that to your community? That makes no fucking sense. So why would I say here? That makes no fucking sense. You treat me like shit? Yeah, I'm going to move. Duh. And no, and just to let everybody know, no, I never got reinstated in those companies. I never got reinstated in those companies for anybody that's wondering about that. Not one of them. Not one of them. But that's okay. Because there's a lot of companies out there. And I'm going to move the hell away and go find my happiness somewhere else in a different ass company. These people are fucking whack. And that's just the truth. A huge investigation is coming in a particular healthcare company. One has already occurred. A huge investigation is coming in a particular healthcare company. One has already occurred. Oh, Lord, and that might be what's about to give these people bad health. Physical and mental health has already declined. It's about to continue to decline. Well, it might be what's about to give them more physical and mental, uh, mental decline because there's about to be an investigation in a healthcare company. I heard there's already been one in one. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, yeah. Let me, I've got to see if I hear anything else. I got to text my ex-husband because he's got to come get the social security cards and the birth certificates for my kids today, for our kids. So give me a second. A significant hospitalization soon. A significant hospitalization soon is what I just heard. A significant hospitalization soon. So some kind of significant hospitalization. Um, that could be, I feel it's these people that their mental health and physical health is already declined. Some kind of significant hospitalization. Um, somebody's about to get hospitalized. I don't know if this is free willingly or if it like constitute, if it's like trauma, trauma, you know, like, like level one trauma, get in there like freaking immediately, or if it's uh, like a mental health hospitalization, or um, or um, you know like a or something of that nature. How that resonates, okay? Some kind of uh, hospitalization, whether it's free willing or not free willing, whether it is emergent, super emergent, like level one trauma, or not. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.